visually impaired uh, lady in the uh, film. Uh, did you undergo a training for it? Was it difficult playing this one? Yeah, I went um, to a two week, three week intense training, which was very, very scary to <laughs> say because I remember initially I had to start with just uh, blindfolding myself and I reached to a point where I could make like alu sabzi without looking, lighting the, <laughs> lighting the uh, you know, everything, everything. There was a tennis ball, um, you know, thrown at me and I had to close my eyes and catch it, sense it and catch it and I had to count my steps um, in and out of the um, place I was training at and everything. So this went on for almost uh, two, three weeks and I, I think and wow, that was quite uh, <laughs> hard, <laughs> intense. Yeah, so, but I realized that when one of your senses are, you know, uh, taken away, all your other senses just like highlighting and I really, uh, as in, I realized this and I think while shooting also, I had to figure out a way uh, which was comfortable for me to maintain throughout the whole, um, you know, uh, performing this character and yeah, I have a technique that I'll tell you later, <laughs> not right now, but uh, yeah, it was, it was very interesting as an actor. That's why she has that line, na, ki aap, uh, aapke itar ko humne sun liya, itne bhi kufiya nahi hai ya. Kab se aapke itar ko, because the smell sense is, is something which is heightened and, and that's what we use in the film as well, very, very subtly, but I think quite interestingly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You?